Greetings, valued viewers. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, June the 24th. And woo, do we have one here. This is the 53-foot drop deck trailer pack with auto load by Mac Trucker 921 uh, for all platforms. I am on PS5 where I'm testing this on Fox Farms. I, re I say all that because there is a lot to go through. Um, so first of all, let us find it. Uh, low loaders under tools is where we will find them. And there are four trailers, as you can see here. But there is quite a lot more going on here. As you can see down at the bottom there, there is an extensive list of things that will um, that you can put in this. Now, if we start with the... Uh, so, so they're all basically the same trailer. They are all identical, actually, except for one thing. And the one thing is uh, what kind of bale they auto-load. As you can see here... Uh, the first one for 50, they're all $55,000 too. I mean, it's, it's, and so we're going to go through one of them extensively, but I want to briefly note this. The first one, the only thing you can't change out of all of these is what kind of bales they auto load. Just so you, just so you know, uh, everything else you can change in the uh, repair store, but this you cannot. This one, square bale, 1.8, 2.2, 2.4 meter, or a round bale, 1.25 or 1.5. So round and square bales of those dimensions. The next one is the round bale of the 1.8 meter width or diameter, sorry, diameter only. So it won't pick up any other bales, only that size of bale. Then we go on to the round cotton bale. It will only pick up round cotton bales and then the last one is the square cotton bale it will only pick up those now capacities i know it says 34 of them but that is not correct um it is uh from the description 42 bales although that's weird because i only could pick up 34 we'll show you that in a moment uh, the round bales, uh, 34 bales. Yes, that is correct. Cotton, it says 12 cotton bales is maximum. Uh, don't disregard what it says there. And three of the square cotton bales. All right, so let's look at this one first. Well, it's the only one we're going to look at because they're all this exactly the same except for body configuration, flat deck, and auto load. So that's where the auto load function comes in now if we go to this one and we go to auto load it says 34 this one auto load 34 yes yeah, so that's that's a little bit of a description problem uh, so in either the flat deck standard which is basically just a flat deck trailer or the auto loading bales trailer they both work in identity well aside from being able to load bales you can still use it as a flat deck trailer. It it is has straps and it's functional for that. So it's dual dual functionality uh, in an auto load baling or a lo auto loading bale configuration. Uh, so then we have this tipper body. This will hold ninety three thousand eight hundred liters of literally anything except. Um, grapes but that will add forty two thousand dollars to the price tag just so you're aware so it's a ninety seven thousand dollars now um moving on to the next one is the logging forks and uh, that is pretty much as much as you can stuff on there basically and it comes with straps as well uh thirty five hundred dollars for that option Liquid tank. This liquid tank will hold your standard liquids. Um, um, water, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, slurry, and um, digestate. I believe those are we're going to show you that. But it is tank only, right? Uh, we, will, we will demonstrate all of these. Uh, and then... We also have a tank with this uh, slurry spreader attachment. 
and it doesn't have a hookup, so it's just that. But that's something very special too. Seventeen thousand five hundred dollars for that. So fifteen thousand for the tank only. Seventeen with the slurry. Now this tank will only hold slurry or digestate. And then we're back to this now. Let's go to Tipper Body because that is the one with the most options uh, that you can see. We have Trailerberg Nokian Lizard. In Trailerberg, you have a couple of tire options. Nokian, actually, you have a couple of a few tire options. Interestingly enough, and yes, since Lizard, you got the singles or the duels. Um, also, you can have a rear hitch. So, in a bail configuration, you can daisy chain them together uh, as many as you can handle. So, that's pretty awesome. Cover configuration, yes or no? We'll go with yes because uh, frame color. Now, anything on here, which is quite an extensive uh, color palette. Uh, let's go with this kind of green just because I can't choose. And then go with the blue and that uh, the body, log, fork, and tank colors. So uh, let's just continue cover color. This is where it's going to change the color of the cover. I, I did that. Let's go with yellow. And then tank trim color. That was going to be something. Let's make it red. Because you don't see it yet, that's on the tank. And then rim color, we're going to make that white, just so you can see it. Right, so colors, those are all the colors. Now let's go back, and I'll, we'll scroll through. Uh, so we got the tipper body at the top, right? So here we go, the logging. Now you can see where the blue and the frame and the blue um, stanchions, right? And then if we go to the tank, that's where you can see where our red trim, our blue body or tank color, and the frame colors all come together. And the slurry spreader, the, uh, uh, the frame piece is the slurry spreader color. There you can see that. And then, of course, back to the flat deck auto load tipper body and through there right so i think we have covered all the options right oh now uh we're going to just jump in one of these uh what the, these are one of each and you can tell that by the info lizard 53 dot drop check drop deck trailer auto load so that was be the bales then you have Drop deck auto load round bale 1.8 meter. And this one, notice the bottom right hand corner, cotton round and cotton squares. So if you don't know what you, you're not quite sure which is what in your, in your farm, it will tell you looking at it. That is pretty neat. As you could see, they all had straps. So we're just going to hook up this, uh, um, the square cotton uh, baler one and i'm going to show you a couple of the um tricks to it <laughs> uh, operating position transporting that's for the bale pickup but we also have uh l1 and up on your d-pad and that puts out your ramp because as i said in this configuration or or in the standard uh loader one or in the auto load configuration they both work as a uh, low loader so we can just uh, if you want to transport something it's not very wide although this one works quite well as you can see and straps and if we go fold that ramp back up lights Uh, no beacons, but the signals are kind of like a sequential, kind of neat sequential type of, uh, whoops. All right. And uh, strap down there. We'll just kind of give it a little bit of a bump here. 
and as you can see the vehicle is strapped down quite nicely right so there it is it they all could as you can see they can all be used as a low loader now let's zip over to uh, let's show uh, what is this uh, oh no not that one yet uh, let's go to this now this is uh, the 180 centimeter bales so I came out here and I made some big bales because you can't buy them and as you can see it very easily picks it up on that side also on this side and very efficient not sure how far away you can get pretty far away actually so there you go so uh, right now we are at 32 percent um, so uh, uh, to unload you just go L1 and triangle and then you move it out and triangle again wherever you want to drop it to reset L1 and press your triangle and then z square s loads it right so L1 triangle move it and you can move it that's about as high as you can go you can go either side left to right this is with L1 and your right stick right you can't move it forward or back it's just basically side to side or up and down and when, when you have it in the where you want it triangle again and there it goes just like so right now uh, I still have a harvester was oh, he done uh, oh no he's still working I'm trying to get some I'm trying to get some bales cotton bales it's taken quite a bit of time um, let's go over to here because this is the other bale loader this is the uh, the one that does the majority of all the different bales I just bought them at the store so uh, it's the size uh, it is the um uh do do do, do uh, the cap oh hold on it's it's the uh the first trailer in the um sorry about this where it is low loaders yes so this is this one here that will do um all those different types of bales all of them except the 1.8 sorry about that a little bit disjointed there now again uh transport on uh, L1 and notice a uh, triangle and then you move it out and you drop it there we go to and then then it's dormant then if you want to reset it L1 and uh, triangle reset auto load but then that just resets it because um, you might want to pick up um, some square bales And we'll try that. We'll go in there. Now L1 and square. Now it's ready to go. It's going to pick up. I'm going to see if it picks up. There we go. Picks up this, the square bales. And you can only pick up one kind at a time. So once you have one square one on there. Now it's curious that it wouldn't put more on there because it's got, you can say, plenty of room there, but only 34 bales. So it's like, okay. Right, so again, uh, we, you can drop, actually what I've done just now is drop them on the tr truck. So if you go uh, R1 and uh, press your R3, you can strap them down and there you go. Now to get them off, unstrap, L1 and triangle and, uh, and load again. And then triangle and back sideways and drop them there see so once you get used to that whole auto load there most of them are are like that as you may know now this is the tipper i've chosen chrome as a as a as a color and uh that's i can't see my oh i'm just that is somewhat disappointing. I can't see my reflection. It's like a giant mirror. You can't see the yeah, you can't see anything. Can't see the bales though. So it's a bit of a fake mirror. 
Now, I've got corn in there right now. It is definitely the weight of the product. It is not a fake or a unreal capacity. Uh, there's 93,840 liters of corn. I put rocks in there before, and uh, it, it held it no problem. The tires held out, too. It um, It's quite impressed me, actually. Um, so we're going to show you the dumping. And uh, that's another thing that's kind of really impressed me. Oh, you want to see the top? The top has kind of a, oh, and it takes a minute to slow down, too. There's a weight there. This um, top looks a little bit uh, wrinkly. Um, a little bit weird. Yeah, kind of weird. Just saying. Uh, R, uh, R1 and triangle, and there you go. It gets does that. Uh, let's see, does it have... Uh, no, it doesn't have the uh, grain door option. Oh, there we go. Tip side back grain door. So we do have a grain door option. And that's what it looks like. It's, of course, slower. Now, uh, let's show you tip side back. I want to show you how fast this unloads. Because it is quite impressive. 100,000 liters unloads pretty darn quickly. As you can see, we're already down to 25%. And before I said that, it was, it's, all, it's already empty now. So that's really nice. And remember, um, you can switch these around. Uh, from this trailer you can you can once you have this trailer whichever one this is this is the uh, the regular auto load bale one so you could switch it to the auto load and you can load bales and then after you're done that you say oh, okay I need to move some some grain you can go into let's just show you right now uh, you can get a toolbox plop a toolbox down there And say um, I want that to be a auto load bale trailer and voila it is oh no I don't want that I want uh, no I want the I want the tipper back now there it is you're back with the tipper <laughs> it's it's brilliant um, so here's the tank I have water in there right now and it too it holds 79,639 liters of uh, your base game liquids, and it is heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. Uh, so I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, the lights and everything are staying the same. I'm going to show you. We're going to unload it right here. And it, too, has a fantastically fast unload speed 79,000 liters is not nothing to sneeze at although you could sneeze at it but well you know what I mean and it is unloading at a exceptionally good pace it actually unloads faster than it loads then you can load it at any of the be the best fastest loading see it's it's already done that's impressive now uh, to fill up, you can, so here it is, slurry, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, digestate, water, milk, or slurry. Uh, if we fill it with slurry, it actually f yeah, fills about, it just, I think it's a, it actually fills a little bit slower than it empties, which is quite impressive, uh, especially since this A2 Studio uh uh, silo fills quite fast. It's about the fastest filling thing uh, in the game. And as you know, it is heavy. Right, so um, not going to have any logs. I don't have any logs to, to put in here. But as you can see, there's straps all along here. Uh, there, there's nothing else that uh, moves. There aren't any the uh, that those right, and, right stick, uh, that's for the the auto load uh, it's not an auto load wood it's 
those are for the bale trailer. Uh, you can fasten or unfasten the belts when you're in there. And that's about it for that. Now, uh, let's just zip over to... We're going to show you the bales last. Uh, ooh, I'm going to show you the cotton bales last. Just because I'm hoping that they'll spit out a few more. Now, this is interesting here. This is uh, the one with the slurry attachment, remember? So we got a tanker, and then we got a tanker with the slurry attachment. It doesn't say the spread on it when you pick it. But here is the spread. And uh, you're saying, oh, seven miles per hour. That's not very fast. Well, that is a double application. <laughs> so you can double applicate. If you turn that off, look at how fast it goes. 15 miles per hour. I don't think there's another faster one uh, spreader than this. And it's spreading at... Um, I'm going to say that looks pretty close to 24 meters. And with the capacity of the 79, nearly 80,000 liter capacity, um, you can go fair ways. It holds quite a bit. And the worker, uh, as you can see, he is backing up quite far. Why is he backing up so far? He was doing just fine until I start recording, of course. But this is uh, this has actually impressed me quite a bit. Um, the speed, for sure, of one the one thing, and um, it it's going down quickly, but it's uh, it holds so much that. Um, I I, th I don't think it's I don't think it's dispensing quite as fast as I would have expected it to. And let's see what he does now. I've got the Mantrids uh, Roadrunner plus 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 on there just because it's um, got a lot of horsepower and he can pull it around. Yeah, he's he's doing good now. All right, so. Last, uh, the last two of them, <laughs> uh, let's see, is this the, this is, yes, so this is the for the round cotton bales, and uh, reset operating, and I only managed to get the, like five cotton bales, and at that it says five, 14 percent, so, yeah. It seems to do well. Uh, I think the well, the description says twelve cotton bales, so that's I'd have to. It would take a much it'd take about a day to get that many stinking cotton bales, but I think we got three cotton bales. Uh, let's see here. Let's find our cotton. There we go. Oh, it was running. Um, so a reset operating position. Here we go. Here's one square cotton bale. Well, that goes on there nicely. Right, so we got two more. And according to the description on the website, it says it'll hold three. So right now it says it's at 2%. So... <laughs> I don't know about that, really. Uh, what's it going to... Well, we're going to have... We have three. We've managed to get three. It's taken me a couple of hours to get this set up. So uh, there's the second one. So I don't know about this. There's three. It's only saying 8%. I... I have a feeling that uh, if we got one more, it would could, it would it's going to go a little squirrely. So, I would be cautious with the uh, with the cotton bale loader. Uh, however, right now it's fine, as you can see, uh, nothing has happened to it. Um, if we unload it onto the trailer, there it is, bunk, and strap it. There, 60,000 liters, it tells us how many. 
It's kind of strapped down. It doesn't showing. It's not strapping down over top. Uh, so if we uh, unstrap it and reset auto load again, there we go. Three percent or eight percent, three bales, and we can drop it. Drop it off. There it goes. Drop it off like that. So like so. Now this is going to take a whole lot more. Uh, I don't. Uh, I might have to do some more long-term testing with this to see um, if I can put more than three co three square cotton bales on there. But it's going to take a whole day or two to uh, to set up uh, to get enough cotton planted to to harvest that much cotton to test to see if it'll. So if anyone's been using this for cotton and is gotten more than three cotton bales or 12 round bales uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below uh, because let's see oh yeah there it is it just takes it right off of there so it's low enough and there it is pop there they're gone they are gone <laughs> no more cotton bales So, um, that is it. That is quite, um, yeah, th that is quite the lineup. That is probably one of the uh, most uh, multi-purpose uh, type trailers I have seen yet, at least on console. Um, there is a lot of options, a lot of things going on. And a lot of things um, we can do with them. Wow. Just, uh, yeah, just wow. That's the 53-foot drop deck trailer pack with auto load. Oh, it's even a mouthful. By Mac Trucker 921 This is for all platforms. 22.27 megabytes to download. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So, till next time. Bye for now.